Hi everyone, welcome back to the series called Finance Current Affairs. In this very series, I pick up some important financial topics and then I try and discuss them with the help of different questions. Before I start with first question, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be updated about all our upcoming videos. And if you want to watch the past sessions on finance current affairs, then we have a specific playlist for that on our channel so you can go to the rbi 247 playlist and you can access the finance current affairs for past one year over there now before i come to first question one more thing i want to tell you if you want the free pdf of this very session then please join our telegram group link is in the description below we provide the free pdfs over there now let's start with first question that says which of the following stock exchange is undergoing the co-location controversy? Which controversy? The co-location controversy where it was alleged that certain trading members had faster access to price feed distributed by stock exchange to its members. So from past few years, this very exchange is in news. This co-location controversy is in news. And this very exchange is once again hitting the headlines in this month of February. So there is a scandal going on with one of the major stock exchanges of India and that is NSC. So a scam is se, and there are some other governance issues which are happening in this very stock exchange. So the answer is option A, NSC. Let's see what are the issues going on with NSC. What is this co-location controversy which is going on for the years? And let's try and understand the entire timeline of events associated with the NSC case. So NSC may koi na koi scam ho ra hai, especially co-location related scandal ho ra hai kai saalo se. So is pe SEBI ne kaafi investigations kiye hai, there have been fines which have been imposed. So let's try and together decode this entire scam. Along with this co-location controversy, there is one more thing which is hitting the headlines and that is the curious case of Paceless Yogi, Chitra Ramakrishna and Anand Subramanian. Subramanian. So let's decode this entire case by understanding the things one by one. So we timeline ke hisaab se chalenge, kab se ye case shuru hua aur ab Kya scenario hai is very case. Ka. So in today's session, we are going to discuss only one topic that is related to this NSC case. So we'll discuss it in depth. Please pay kind attention to its explanation. So hum start karte 2009 se. Why 2009? Because this co-location facility, which is related to scandal, chal raha hai, this was introduced by NSC in the year 2009. So for that, you first need to understand that what do we mean by co-location facility. NSC ne ye facility 2009 mein introduced ke thi. Co-location means that NSC has its servers in its premises. So within that same premises, some space will be uh, provided to certain brokers if they are willing to pay the fee. So these brokers hire certain space at NSC where they set up their own servers and they benefit from that very thing. I'll discuss how. So NSC ke hi premises mein jahan NSC ke servers hai, usi ke paas ek space brokers ko bhi mil jayegi jahan pe wo apne server set karke wahan se function kar sakte hai. Usually the fee for this is really very high. So only big brokers can afford it. Now what benefit are they going to get? The benefit is that they will have faster access to the information which is distributed by these stock exchanges. I'll explain with a very basic example. At times, if you have Wi-Fi at your home, okay, and uh, there is certain range till which the Wi-Fi connection comes. There might be some rooms where the connections are not coming. Or uh, take example of your simple mobile network. Kahi network nahi aata hai. So wherever the proximity is there, wherever you are close to the servers, you get better access to that data. Similar is with NSC also. Although it's operating uh, worldwide, it's operating within your nation to each and every part. But 
those servers which are connected close to the servers of NSC, they are likely to get information faster than those located far away. So, जो NSC के server के पास located है ना brokers के servers, उनको information और जल्दी मिल जाती है as compared to other brokers who are located at far away places. So, this faster access to information about the buying or the sell codes of securities reaches faster to these brokers. Okay, and this is a big advantage for those big brokers who usually do high frequency trading. So that's why, uh, in order to bet, get better access, buy at a lower price, and then sell uh, by getting the information more faster, they are able to make huge profits. So big brokers, is key fee pay करते हैं ताकि उन्हें ये advantage मिल सके. Although the difference is just of milliseconds, but within those milliseconds, you can actually uh, fetch a profitable trade for yourself. अब इसको देख के लग रहा है कि ये कुछ इलीगल सा हो रहा है कि सब ब्रोकर्स को एक जैसे फुटिंग पे स्टैंड ना करके हम किसी को कोई ज़्यादा बेनिफिट दे रहे हैं एज कम्पेयर टू अदर्स बाकियों के साथ ये गलत नहीं होगा कि इन ब्रोकर्स को आप पहले इन्फॉर्मेशन दे रहे हो दैन मेकिंग दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन पब्लिकली अवेलेबल टू ऑल द ब्रोकर्स सी देर इज नथिंग इलीगल इन इट ऑल दो यू कैन से दैट इट्स अनफेयर बट ये इलीगल नहीं था एन ने खुद इसको इंट्रोड्यूस किया अप्रूवल था इसके पास आ, ऐसा नहीं है कि ये इलीगल है ऑल दो हम ये कह सकते हैं कि ये अनफेयर है इट्स नॉट फेयर विद दोज ब्रोकर्स हु एक्चुअली कॉन्ट अफोर्ड टू पे दिस मच टू फेच अ स्पेस एट एन एस सी बट वन मोर थिंग दैट इज दैट वॉज क्वेश्चन वॉज दैट यूजली इवन समथिंग न्यू इज टू बी इंट्रोड्यूस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ डिस्कशन पेपर कम्स ऑन सेवीज वेबसाइट एंड कमेंट्स आर इन्वाइटेड एंड देन दैट डिसीजन इज टेकिंग दिस इज द यूजल प्रोसीजर हम लोग भी कितने सारे डिस्कशन पेपर्स डिस्कस करते हैं सेबी के कि पहले से भी कमेंट्स इन्वाइट करता है उसके बाद वो न्यू सेट ऑफ नॉर्म्स या न्यू कोई चीज लॉन्च करनी है उसके साथ आता है बट इन दिस वेरी केस This usual procedure was not followed. NSE just introduced this co-location facility without uh, fetching public comments on the same. इसलिए ये controversy भी हुई थी कि शायद ये illegal है, but ये illegal नहीं है, ये unfair है. Then what happens? Happens three months after the introduction of this facility. अब ये facility introduced हुई, ये use हो रही थी. तीन महीने बाद क्या हुआ? एक और चीज लेके आया एन एस सी एन एस सी के मे टेक बाई टेक मार्केट डेटा फॉर अ फी सो वॉट डू वी मीन बाई दिस टेक बाई टेक मार्केट डेटा फी दैट मीन्स दैट ऑन पेइंग सर्टन फी यू विल बी प्रोवाइडेड विद अ मोर एग्जॉस्टिव इन्फॉर्मेशन सो अगर आप फी पे करने को रेडी हो तो आपको टिक्स और एग्जॉस्टिव टिक्स मिलेंगे बाई टिक आई मीन द इन्फॉर्मेशन सो देयर कैन बी इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट बाइंग अबाउट सेलिंग about cancelling of the order by someone about modification of the orders so every information will be provided in detail to those brokers who are willing to pay the fee okay so those who are having sophisticated it systems who want to take the advantage of this information they can pay a fee usually what happens the information which is shared with others not part of this tick by tick market data not paying the fee they get some data like they might get a data that okay this very investor has um raised a bid to buy at this very price but at times they cancel their order they modify their order and buy and place new codes so such information does not get shared but agar aap tick by tick market data follow karke fee pay kar rahe ho to aapko exhaustive information milti hai initially this data was distributed through a like architecture a technology architecture called transmission control protocol where information was delivered one by one rather than being broadcasted for everyone at the same time so when this tick by tick market data thing was introduced so each information share hoti thi ye aisa nahi hai ki ek jagah broadcast kar bhi sare dekh lenge no it was not broadcasted at one place where everyone could watch it was basically delivered one by one so if there is a huge load on the server those who are joining first or those are those who are able to access that server first they will actually get the data faster as compared to others okay or the ones who are getting connected to those servers where the load is less they will be able to fetch information much faster than others so ek ek karke information jati thi to jo us server se connected hai jis pe load kam hai wo wo pehle wo data retrieve kar lete the as compared to others so this created a benefit to the first one to connect to the lowest load server in terms of receiving data faster than others so one kind of unfair thing which was happening is that ones who can afford those uh, co-location facilities were benefit at the benefiting at the expense of other brokers ek to ye humne abhi discuss kiya ki unfair hai illegal nahi hai lekin unfair hai ki kuch logo ko dusre ki expense pe 
बेनिफिट मिल रहा है कोलोकेशन सर्विस का एक और प्रॉब्लम जो आ रही है एक और अनफेयर थिंग विच इज हैपनिंग इज दैट बिकॉज दे वर फॉलोइंग वन बाय वन डिलीवरी मेकेनिज्म दे वर फॉलोइंग सच एन आर्किटेक्चर वेयर द इंफॉर्मेशन वॉज फेच फर्स्ट बाय दो आर कनेक्टेड टू अ लीस्ट लोडेड सर्वर then that was also wrong on part of the others who have actually availed this co-location service ab co-location ke liye to sab ne paisa diya hai tick by tick market data ke liye bhi sab un brokers ne paise diye hain unme bhi partiality ho rahi hai okay unme bhi keh lo ki unfairness ho rahi hai ki jo log low um, low uh, load server se connected hai unko pehle information mil jayegi so nsc wanted to address this issue ye problem aa rahi thi so it came up with an improved system an improved architecture in 2014 us problem ko solve karte hue 2014 mein nsc ne multi broadcast uh, tick by tick protocol laya under this one by one the data was not shared rather it was broadcasted for all the brokers who were paying the fee and accessing this very network so the data was disseminated simultaneously to all co-location workers instead of first come first service basis did that fix the problem ab jis problem ko solve karne ke liye nsc ne ye protocol nikala kya isne wo problem solve ki yes to a certain extent the problem was solved but the smarter players are always there who manage to game the system काफ़ी इम्प्रूवमेंट हुआ लेकिन ऐसे बहुत लोग बैठे हैं जो सिस्टम में कहीं ना कहीं लूप होल्स निकाल के उसका फ़ायदा उठा लेते हैं एंड ऐसे ही कई ब्रोकर्स ने उस सिस्टम का फ़ायदा उठाया अदर देन द नॉर्मल सर्वर द प्राइमरी सर्वर देर इज़ वन बैकअप सर्वर ऑफ एन एस सी एज वेल विच कैन ओनली बी एक्सिस्ट वेन देर इज़ सम ट्रबल विद योर इनिशियल सर्वर सो प्राइमरी सर्वर में कोई प्रॉब्लम है तभी आप वो बैक एंड का सर्वर यूज कर सकते हो बट देर वर सम ब्रोकर्स हु सम हाउ एबल टू एक्सेस द दैट वेरी बैकअप सर्वर एंड एबल टू फेच इन्फॉर्मेशन मच बिफोर सो वो इसका भी मिस यूज करने लगा कि बैकअप सर्वर को का डेटा यूज करने लगे और पहले बैकअप सर्वर से कनेक्ट करके पहले डेटा फेच करने लगे सो दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन कुछ हद तक सॉल्व हुई बट लूप होल्स निकाल के उसके और फायदे उठाने लगे लोग देन वॉट हैपन इन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन वॉज द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी ऑफ एन एस सी को लोकेशन फैसिलिटी सो इट वॉज एलेज दैट सर्टन मेम्बर्स हैड फास्टर एक्सेस टू प्राइस फीड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाई दी एन एस सी टू इट्स मेम्बर्स सो वो जो लूप होल्स का फायदा उठा रहे थे ना ब्रोकर्स उससे उन्होंने मल्टीपल प्रोटोकॉल के बावजूद भी पहले प्राइस डेटा एक्सेस कर ली ओके सो एन एस सी के एंड से कुछ मेम्बर्स तक पहले डेटा पहुँचने लग गया बिकॉज ऑफ द लूप होल्स इन द सिस्टम विच दीज ब्रोकर स्टार्टेड यूटिलाइजिंग then how this thing came into picture it came into picture when one of the people actually a whistle blower reported about the same to sebi january 2015 mein sebi ko ek complaint aayi where it was reported that there are some flaws in the nsc's colocation system and using that system some brokers are actually exploiting the uh, flaws in the collusion with some employees of nsc so nsc ke hi log andar se mile hue hain jo in brokers ki help kar rahe hain back end server ka use karne mein aur information pehle fetch karne mein so nsc ke kuch employees ko bol diya gaya ki wo bhi part and parcel hai is wrong doing ka one broker in particular who was alleged to game the system was opg securities is pe case file hua ki is broker ne aisa kiya hai nsc ke sath nsc ke logo ke sath inke tie ups hain and within the nsc's it department there are people involved who are sharing the access to the backend server with opg securities who are helping them fetch information much faster moreover you cannot use the servers through your multiple ip addresses but this opg was actually also alleged for using multiple ips to connect to a single server so if one ip address is not getting connected other will get connected at times one gets connected other also third also so they are establishing numerous connections which is crowding out the chances of other members to fetch that data so ye bhi miss galti kar rahe the wo ki ip address alag alag ke through wo alag alag connections establish kar lete the aur baki members ko chance nahi milti thi wo information access karne ki is cheez pe opg pe case chala then were the allegations taken forward were the investigations taking place yes 2016 may ls in allegations pe investigation hue uh, if the allegations were probed by sebi also and a auditor was appointed deloitte india so 
सेबी ने एनएससी को फॉरेंसिक ऑडिट करने को कहा डिलोइट वॉज अपॉइंटेड टू कंडक्ट दैट ऑडिट नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट वर द फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ बोथ सेबी एंड डिलोइट सो सेबी ने जो इन्वेस्टिगेशन की और डिलोइट ने जो ऑडिट uh, किया उसके बेसिस पे उन्होंने क्या रिपोर्ट किया क्या प्रॉब्लम्स थी सो सेबी कंक्लूडेड दैट एन एस आर्किटेक्चर वॉज प्रोन टू मार्केट अब्यूज कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग मार्केट फेयरनेस एंड इंटेग्रिटी सो इनके आर्किटेक्चर में इशूज थे दे वर इशूज विद दर्किटेक्चर बिकॉज ऑफ विच जो मार्केट फेयरनेस है इंटेग्रिटी है वो कॉम्प्रोमाइज हुई सम वर बेनिफिट एट द एक्सपेंस ऑफ अदर्स इट द कमिटी ऑल्सो कंक्लूडेड दैट ओ पी जी वॉज इन्वॉल्व इन एक्सपर्टिंग दिस आर्किटेक्चर ओके इट वॉज यूजिंग डिफरेंट आई पी टू लॉग इन एंड सम मेम्बर्स ऑफ ओ पी जी some members of nsc were connected with opg to help them out okay some brokers were given the preferential access to backup servers aur ye possible tab hai jab andar ki log mile hue hain deloitte also had similar findings it also said that there are problems with the architecture system it's more prone to manipulation okay then the sequential distribution of price information reached brokers logged on a लेस क्राउडेड सर्वर फास्टर दैन इट रीच समी ऑन अ क्राउडेड सर्वर ये प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने के लिए ही तो आपका मल्टी प्रोटोकॉल सिस्टम लाया गया था बट स्टिल इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉज रीचिंग फास्टर टू दोज हु वर कनेक्टेड टू लेस क्राउडेड सर्वर एज कम्पेयर टू दोज विद दी क्राउडेड सर्वर सो वो प्रॉब्लम फिर आ ही रही थी नाउ दिस वॉज द होल केस गोइंग ऑन ओवर टाइम चलता रहा एंड देन देर वर पेनल्टीज इम्पोज इन ट्वेंटी तो काफी टाइम से इस पे इन्वेस्टिगेशन चलती आ रही है अ न्यू केस इमर्ज इमर्जेस द पेनल्टीज आर इम्पोज लाइक इन 2019 से भी रूल्ड दैट एनएससी हैज फेल्ड टू प्रोवाइड अ लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड ओके दोज हु हैव टेकन द कोलोकेशन सर्विसेज दे वर गेटिंग द टेक बाय टेक डेटा बट देर व not level playing field which was provided so is wajah se sebi ne order issue kiya 2019 pe where an sc was asked to pay this much crores amount and it was also prohibited to raise funds for 6 months from the stock market 6 mahine tak inko allow nahi kiya gaya ki stock market se paisa raise kar sake in pe kafi badi penalty bhi lagi then at that time the md and ceo of nsc was mr ravi narayan after that mrs chitra rama krishna took as uh, took over as the md and ceo so 2013 tak ravi narayan was the md and ceo uske baad chitra ramakrishna was the ceo and md of an sc so during their tenure this war all has happened so they were also fined with 25% of their income which they had to pay now what is happening in 2022 abhi tak humne discuss kiya ki over time cases chalte aa rahe hain penalties imposed ho rahi hain अब फिर से 2022 में फेबर में ये चीज न्यूज में है सो वॉट इज वंस अगेन इन न्यूज रिसेंटली लेट्स डिस्कस दैट सो इन एन ऑर्डर विच केम ऑन टेंथ ऑफ फेबर ओके अ पेनल्टी ऑफ वन करोड़ हैज बीन इम्पोज ऑन एन एस सी एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक ऑन रवि नारायण एंड चित्रा रामा कृष्णा सो इन अ रिसेंट ऑर्डर दिस पेनल्टी हैज बीन इम्पोज इन द मंथ ऑफ February on these people, then Silver Stream Equity and Android Financial Services they have also been fined with six lakh penalty. He you know ne violate ki hai co-location rules and this dates back to 2020 to 2014. Us time period me you know ne ye misuse kiya hai co-location facility ka where they logged in into secondary system for no. Then there is one more thing which is going on which I want to discuss with this which is another case. and sebi has ordered something against the nsc's former ceo chitra rama krishna what is the her link with the colocation incident and who is this faceless yogi in this bizarre plot so there is one more news coming that um the nsc ceo chitra rama krishna used to share the information the inside information with some third person whom she calls a uh, yogi whom she met um who basically resides in the himalayan region who ha- advises her on various personal and professional matters so how this thing came into picture what is its connection with colocation incident let's discuss that jab colocation incident ki investigations chal rahi hain itne time se recently bhi chal rahi hain to us case ke sath sath ek naya case samne aa raha hai ki jo nsc ki former ceo thi 
उन्होंने अंदर की इंफॉर्मेशन एन की किसी थर्ड पर्सन के साथ शेयर की एंड शी इज नॉट रिवीलिंग द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ दैट थर्ड पर्सन ही यूज टू शेयर ऑल दी साइड इंफॉर्मेशन विद दैट अननोन पर्सन एंड शी कॉल्स दैट पर्सन अ योगी पर्सन हु हैज बीन एडवाइजिंग हर अ स्पिरिचुअल गुरु फॉर हर सो दिस इज लाइक अ सोप ओपेरा और अ ड्रामा विच वॉज अनअर्थ इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग द कोलोकेशन स्कैन ये एक ड्रामा की तरह है ऐसा लग रहा है कि कोई सीरियल चल रहा है जैसी जैसी बातें चित्र रामा ने की हैं सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज दिस इंटायर सोप ऑपेरा विच लाइक ड्रामा विच इज गोइंग ऑन ओके सो व्हाट शी हैज टोल्ड वाज व्हाट केम इनटू पिक्चर वाज दैट शी वाज एक्चुअली शेयरिंग द इंफॉर्मेशन लाइक द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन एस सी द डिविडेंट स्नैरियो द फाइनेंशियल रिसर्स द ह्यूमन रिसोर्स पॉलिसी एवरीथिंग विद दैट अननोन पर्सन थ्रू ई From 2014 to 2016, इस टाइम पीरियड के बीच वो ई मेल भेज के किसी से एडवाइजेस लेती थी एन एस सी के इंटरनल मैटर्स पे एंड वेन द थिंग्स केम इन टू लाइट शी सेज दैट दैट पर्सन इज अ योगी हु रिसाइड इन द हिमालयन रीजन अ हिमालयन योगी हु इज हर स्परिचुअल मैंटोर सो उनका कहना है कि वो बीस साल पहले उन्हें गंगा किनारे मिली थी और वो तब से उनको एडवाइस करते आ रहे हैं बहुत सारे मैटर्स में बी इट एनी पर्सनल मैटर बी इट एनी प्रोफेशनल मैटर एंड दैट्स वाई शी टूक एडवाइस फ्रॉम हिम सो दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग एंड इन चीज़ों को क्लेम करना इन ऑर्डर टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड अगेंस्ट बींग पेनलाइज बाय सेबी इज एक्चुअली लाइक अ ड्रामा गोइंग ऑन सो based on the advice of that third person that unknown person whom she calls a yogi based on her advice his that person's advice she has actually appointed one person who didn't deserve that position based on the background and the appointment of that person the increments he used to get the promotions he used to get were not actually reported in the minutes of all the meetings which were happening and it seems that nsc has also disclosed not disclosed the matter so unke advice pe chitra rama krishna ne ek person ko appoint kiya tha that person used to work with the subsidiary of palmer and lorry where he used to earn 15 lakh per annum of income ab unka nsc से रिलेटेड फील्ड में कोई एक्सपीरियंस नहीं था कैपिटल मार्केट मार्केट कोई एक्सपीरियंस नहीं था स्टिल शी अपॉइंटेड हिम एज हर कंसल्टेंट विद अ सैलरी ऑफ वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट करोड़ सो रामा कृष्णा ने उन उस थर्ड पर्सन के एडवाइस पे आनंद सुब्रमण्यन को एज अ कंसल्टेंट हायर किया एन एस सी में एंड शी यूज टू पे हिम वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट लाख वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट करोड़ वर्थ ऑफ सैलरी पंद्रह लाख पर आनम जिनकी सैलरी थी उन्हें विदाउट उस एरिया की एक्सपर्टाइज के हायर कर लिया गया इतनी सैलरी पे विद इन थ्री इयर्स एट पर्सन वॉट प्रमोटेड टू ग्रुप ऑपरेटिंग ऑफिसर एंड वॉज पेड अ सैलरी ऑफ फोर पॉइंट टू वन करोड़ एंड दीज थिंग्स वर एक्चुअली नॉट अप्रूव्ड द सेबी पास एन ऑर्डर रिसेंटली दैट एन एस सी हैज टर्न द ब्लाइंड आई टू द अपॉइंटमेंट एन एस सी ने अटेंशन नहीं दी या दी भी तो उन्होंने जान के मैटर छुपा के रखा है हाईलाइट्स में नहीं लाया है दैट वाई दैट सुब्रमण्यन वॉज अपॉइंटेड वाई ही वॉज पेड सो मच ऑफ कंपनसेशन विदाउट प्रॉपर अप्रेजल विदाउट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन विद नो एच आर इज इन्वॉल्व ओके सो सेबी हैज नोटेड दैट डिस्पाइट ऑफ बींग अवेयर ऑफ द इरेगुलरिटीज एन एस सी एंड अदर ऑफिशियल्स लाइक एम डी एन सी ओ रवि नारायण डिड नॉट रिकॉर्ड द मैटर्स इन द मिनट्स ऑफ बोर्ड मीटिंग जो भी ऐसी गलत चीज़ें हो रही थी ये सब मीटिंग्स बोर्ड मीटिंग्स के मिनट्स में रिकॉर्ड नहीं की जा रही थी एंड सेबी नोट्स दैट द बोर्ड वॉज अवेयर ऑफ द एक्सचेंज ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंशियल इन्फॉर्मेशन विद द अनोन पर्सन सेबी का मानना है कि एन एस सी के बोर्ड को पता था दैट चित्रा रामा कृष्ण यूज टू शेयर विद इन द or the inside information of the nsc with some third person but they have deliberately or consciously taken the decision not to report and keep the matter under the wraps jaan ki wo ye cheeze samne nahi la rahe the is wajah se sebi ne penalties laga di hai so recently sebi has fined rama krishna with 3 crores nsc subramanian former md and ceo ravi narayan each of them with 2 crores fine and 6 lakh fine has been imposed on vr narsimhan who is the chief regulatory officer and compliance officer of nsc so these are the things which have been happening over time ye pura case hai jo ab humne decode kara hai ki collocation ke jo unfair practices hain uska fayda utha ke taking the advantage of the 
failures in the co-location facility the brokers have over time taken the advantage despite of the improvements on the nses and there were still loopholes and again the brokers took advantage of that then when sebi was probing that very case this new governance issue has come into the limelight that chitra ramakrishna was actually sharing the inside information with some third person and nsc was also involved in the same and accordingly sebi has penalized them now what are the implications of these very things for our investors for our traders if i talk about the first case the co location facilities they are obviously for the brokers so it's not going to directly impact your retail investors but obviously it's a sign that something wrong is going on and uh, no steps are taken or no proper steps till now have been taken to address that issue moreover the second case shows the governance lapses so governance mein issue hai that means there is wrong doing somewhere or the other some way or the other going on with all the investors and this also implies that there is a need to come up with more improvements it's apparent that the board packed with well known figures in financial services failed to discharge their duties just nsc ka board tha wo bhi apni duty sahi se discharge nahi kar paya wo bhi kahin na kahin wrong doings mein involved tha so steps should be taken to ensure that the failings do not reoccur any more all right so this was the entire scandal you can say or we can better say that the wrong doings going on within nsc and uh, that's it let's discuss the remaining questions on this very thing so second first question ka answer nsc tha second question is who ruled that stock exchange involved in co-location scam has failed to ensure level playing field for trading members and it issued order in 2019 to prohibit raising funds from stock market for the nsc and impose penalties on mdnc ho abhi humne discuss kiya tha sebi in fact agar aapko in case nahi bhi pata to stock exchange related orders kon deta hai it's sebi so answer is option b coming to last question now who has been alleged by sebi to share internal information with that third person unknown person and the person uh, this very person was the nsc ceo during that time period so kon hai jo ye sari inside information unknown person yogi ke sath share kar raha hai the himalayan yogi which he calls it's chitra rama krishna so answer is again option c so that's it uh, for today i hope this session was useful for you all with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much